Okay, this is a very simple but effective crossover pattern for you to try. You can see I've put a stick on my pad here to mark the middle of the pad. If you don't have a stick, just use a bit of tape. It's really key that we've got a definite difference between the right hand side of the pad and the left hand side of the pad. Now, when we play in this particular crossover pattern, we're not necessarily going to have our sticks together like we normally would. So in this, when we first start now, we're going to start with the sticks apart so that we can hit either side of that pad. All of this pattern is going to be single strokes to begin with. So just right, left, right, left. But what we're going to talk about is playing the right hand side or the left hand side. Now, if we hit the right hand side of the pad, then we hit the right hand side again. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my left over and my right under. So I've gone right hand side, left, left hand hits the right hand side. Then I go left hand side and then left hand side. So when I say right and left, I'm talking about sides of the pad, not my hands, all right? So we go right, right, and then left, left. Again, right, right, left, left. So we start to get that motion there. Now, what you're gonna hear is I'm gonna catch my stick sometimes. Especially if I go real quick. They're in there. So what we do to avoid that, we actually change the way that we play with our left hand. So if you take your left hand, but you turn it upside down. Now we're going to change the angle so that instead of facing over here like we, the stick would normally be doing, we're going to face it almost straight forward, almost towards you in the camera. And then we're going to use the fingers to kind of tap downwards like this to get the stick to move. So to help us play this fast, that's what we do. Now what happens is it changes the angle. So rather than there being only two fingers here, we, we can have lots of fingers, a big angle. So our left hand now is basically going to bounce over the top of where that stick was like this. So step one to master this is just to practice just doing this, either side of that stick. It might take a little while to get used to those fingers doing this motion, but you'll soon get this. Then what we're going to do is we're going to do the same as we did before. Right hand side of the pad, right hand side of the pad, left hand side of the pad, left hand side of the pad. Now we've got two options here, right? You either come back to normal grip. So we go upside down, normal, upside down, normal. Or I find it easier to stay upside down the whole time. So then I get this. Now what you'll see from the front there is my right's doing big rainbow shapes like this. My left, my right, so my left is doing the big rainbow shapes, isn't it? My right is doing small ones. And that's the basics of it. We can do it with other rudiments. And when we do it with other rudiments, sometimes it changes whether we're gonna go all the way upside down or not. So if I do it with paradiddle diddles, right, left, right, right, left, left, it's actually quite difficult to play a double in that position. Now I can do it, but it takes a lot of effort to work that out. It's easier for me to do the cross. So my left hand's gonna go cross and then come back and play a double. So this is my left hand part. So then, And there's no rules, right? Sometimes it might be a certain speed. I come back and maybe at other speeds I don't. It also makes a big difference if we're just playing for a short amount of time or for a long time. If I'm playing a single stroke seven, then I do that same pattern. Well, I'm gonna end cross, so let's not do a seven. Let's do a nine. So I'm gonna go, which is reasonably short. Well, I could probably get away with that without the cross. But if I'm playing for a lot longer than that, it's much harder to keep that going without looking, looking like I'm kind of locking up or hitting my sticks together. What other rhythms can we do? Hairters are great for this one. So these. And then you can start to try more extravagant patterns. Maybe some double lefts in there. But try not to get those nasty stick clicks in there. So that's a nice little pattern for you to try. 
Can you do it the other way? Can you go over the top? Well, you can, but you end up with a bit of an awkward pattern. Doesn't mean it's impossible. There's other ways of doing it. If we go match grip, maybe that won't be possible. But for me, the left hand one is the one that's simple, usable. Go try it. See you next time.